So now we've understood that pitching is chipping plus wrist hinge, we can move on to various types of pitch. You can alter the height of your pitch shot by using wrists, you can bring the flight down by not using your wrists. You can add loft to the club by opening your stance and cutting across the ball and that will give you more backswing and more control. But the other thing that's really good about a wedge is if you need to hook the ball over a short distance, you can. Do you remember Bubba Watson in the playoff for the Masters a couple of years ago? He was down the right hand side of the 10th hole deep in the trees and he managed to snap hook a wedge out from the trees up onto the green to win the tournament in the playoff. Now a right-handed golfer could never have done that. You would have given him a driver off a low tee peg. He could not have moved the ball to such a great degree over such a small distance. So, you can turn a lofted club over quite easily, but with a lofted club, it's very, very hard to move the ball from left to right. So, I'm going to aim at the flag with a full pitching swing. I'm going to go around the circle of my stance and I'm going to open the blade and I'm going to significantly swing across the ball just to make my point. So here we go. You see, I've played the shot from out to in. The ball feathers slightly, but it doesn't bend from left to right, although you might think it should. Now, particularly in our Duchess course, where controlling your tee shots is of key importance because the fairways are so narrow you have to hit the right part of the fairway but if you don't you're going to find yourself blocked out by the odd pine tree and the need then is to move the ball a lot from right to left over a short distance. Now so many times I see people in under the tree canopy with a five iron trying to make a five iron hook so they get in there under the trees they aim right at the tree trunk correctly and then they try to hit a low hooky shot and they wonder why it stays straight and hits the tree. In the same way you can't slice a wedge, it's very easy to slice or cut spin a, a straighter face club. So I'm going to go back to my wedge for loft because if I'm going to hit a hook or a draw over a short distance, loft is what I need. So, as, a, as ever, starting off with my conventional setup, I go round the circle to my left. Now, with the ball back in my stance, I've de-lofted the club, but there's sufficient loft to make the ball. So watch this ball curve. Even over 50, 60 yards, the ball will now curve. You see it moving from right to left and releasing to the left. So you can, man you can maneuver the ball around trees at close quarter. So watch that again, always start normal, round the circle, moving the ball back, but then you work the club from right to left, you impart top spin, draw spin, and you hit a little hook over a very short distance. And you see the ball kicking at 90 degrees to the original line of send. Isn't it amazing how much you can make the ball move once you know that loft is your friend and not your enemy?